Hello guys, today we are going to speak about the difference between proof of work and proof of stake. I am going to explain you what is proof of work and proof of stake in simple non-technical terms. First of all, let me tell you that both of them are algorithms to establish consensus over the blockchain. They are both methods of verifying the authenticity of transactions without the need of centralized third party. First, let's start with the most popular algorithm proof of work that in simple words represents trust. You do a certain work and follow a certain rules in order to validate transactions on the blockchain. Most of us know that it requires a lot of computer power, expensive equipment and a lot of time, energy and money spent in order to validate transactions. Bitcoin uses a proof of work algorithm and this one requires uh, expensive miners working 24-7 in order to validate transactions and as a reward of that, of doing that job, the miners receive part of the mined block rewards. There is a few downsides of mining, there is a huge waste of energy all over the world, the whole energy daily is worth about 1 million USD dollars a day every single day. Or in other words, that will make a waste of energy of about 350 million dollars every single year. On the other hand, proof of stake requires not mining with expensive miners but only showing ownership of a certain amount of coins, meaning more coins you have, more mining power you own. This will eliminate the need of expensive mining rigs and ASICs and it will save over 350 million dollars of electricity cost every year. It's more eco-friendly and it will help with stable crypto coin prices. It will eliminate dump and pump schemes because people will get rewarded if they don't sell the coins but hold and stake. One of the top 5 coins, Ethereum, is considered to switch proof of work to proof of stake and I believe it will only help for the price to rise up. If Ethereum switch to proof of stake, all of users will need to lock huge amounts of Ethereum and they will drive the price up. There is a one more positive thing about proof of stake, a user would need to own a majority of all coins in order to attack the network. Other thing with the proof of stake system is there is a no block reward, so the miners take all the transaction fees. So in other words, if you own about a 1% of all the coins in circulation, you are entitled of 1% of all the transaction fees in the network. To be honest, I am all for a proof of stake. Let me know in the comments below which algorithm you prefer. And that's everything guys, I hope I was useful and short as possible. For more info I will attach a few links in the description below. If you like the video, please share, subscribe and see you next time.